Good morning, beautiful people. We are in Mendoza, Argentina. And today we will visit... A winery. Mendoza is really known for olive oils and wines. We can see how is the process, how they do wines, and we can taste some wine. So it's not the best spot for Luca, yeah. but it's interesting. As we, we did the tour of the coffee, I think it's interesting to know how they do it, how it's working. There are some of the best wineries in all the country here. So I'm really curious to taste and to see. The so place is already beautiful. It's beautiful. Some tours, they're really expensive. If you go and you want to do the fine dining or the fine lunch, or some tours are for free. So today we are trying to do everything for free. Wine here is really cheap because they produce everything here. We are together with two friends here in Mendoza, Gustavo and Daniela. Hola. Hola. <laughs> they are from Mendoza and they are coming with us and we are doing the two world together. found a Ford older than Lucky Liu. Wow. Let us know in the comments if you would like to see us traveling with an old Ford like this or let us know if you would ever travel with a Ford uh, this old. Can you imagine van life with one of these old vehicles? Yeah, with a little camper on here. We are at Bodega Lopez and we are waiting because now it's 9.30, at 10 a.m. they will do a free tour in Spanish and at 11.30 they will do a free tour in English. So we will wait here and we will see what we can learn about this experience. We are starting the tour right now. We will start from the end of the process the final part of the process and then we will go backwards. You can already feel yeah, the smell man. of the wine, of the wood. Wow, it's huge. Bottegas Lopez is one of the oldest uh, vineries here in Mendoza and uh, this building where we are is the original building from 1898, the roof is still the same one. Just 5% of the wine produced here, they export it. Everything else, 95%, is for the country, is for Argentina. These are the smallest barrel foods that we can find here. They contain 10,000 liters of wine. The fermentation time here in this uh, winery could go from uh, three months to six years time. If these are the smallest ones, can you imagine what we are going to see? No, 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 no. All the wood is coming from France. If you maintain the wood in the right way, the wood can last 120 years. I cannot even film you. These are the medium-sized barrels and they are 25,000 liters. You can drink the wine inside these barrels, but it's not pure, it's dirty. So what they do to make the, the wine better? There are two steps. The first step is stabilization and the second step is filtration. How they do the stabilization? To clean the wine, they make a process where they put uh, the temperature really low, the wine will not freeze uh, because there is alcohol in the, in the wine, but uh, it will decantate all the dirt, uh, it will go down, uh, and so they can uh, just get the upper part uh, and uh, filter and uh, then put it in the bottle. Wow, the smell is intense, uh, it's uh, 
it's really like nice and grape, uh, yes. Like when you do the mosto, I don't know how this, uh, when you fermentate. And also a little bit of uh, vinegar. Yes. You can smell like vinegar in here because. Do you remember the smell of the cacao? Yeah, the <laughs> fermentation of the cacao when they leave the uh, the cacao plants uh, to dry in the sun. Uh, the smell is like uh, it's like yeah, this as well. It's almost the same. I'm impressed. Like this is the first time that I see a winery like this and see all the process and the barrels. They are huge, huge. So big. Likely the Sluka <laughs> doesn't, but it's really interesting to see. And the size is so big. Big production here. Here is where the grape arrived with the, all the trucks. So this is the beginning of the process. Step number one. The grapes go in here. Yeah. Step number two is stabilization and step number three is fermentation. Here they can receive 180 tons of grape every single day. If you want a young wine, after two weeks you can have your red wine ready. What they care is the color and the amount of tannine Tannine. White wine, the process is similar, but you need three weeks time to taste the first young wine. For the white wine, what is really important is not the color, but the acidity. Every six years, uh, they have to uh, put a guy inside. This one is the biggest one uh, they have here in this winery. Over 30,000 liters. Uh, this one is the biggest one, uh, and uh, every six year a guy has to go inside and clean everything but they they can only stay 25 minutes uh, each person uh, to clean inside and they have to be really small because they have to go inside from there wow. i already feel claustrophobic just to think about that and during the cleaning process the guys because there are usually three guys going back and forth from uh, the barrel they cannot clean too much the wood. The wine that stays here, the wine stays from three to six years. There is a crystallization on the wood and you, can, you cannot clean all away. You need to leave at least a little bit so that the wine, the one that they took away, has the taste, has the, the good taste of the wood. Almost 36,000 liters. And now it's time to taste this wine. Let's go. white wines and red wines you start with the white wines but in this case we have a sweet wine so we need to start with the Malbec this is the wine that we are the red wine that we are tasting it's a Malbec 2017 and then we'll go to taste the white one and it's really important how you handle the glass you don't need to touch the wine here, otherwise you will warm up the wine. from the red wine to the white wine. So you don't drink this, you just swear. 
Bueno, ¿todos la limpiaron? No, sí, señor. ¿Cuántas variedades de uva trabajas en el PC? 16. Bueno. Es muy malo. Probablemente te gusta. Sí. Me gusta porque no te gusta el alcohol. Es por eso que dicen que es un vino muy peligroso. Es un vino muy peligroso porque no te gusta el alcohol. It tastes like a kind of juice. We bought a wine, a sweet white wine for Luca because he, he came here with me today and, and to the, this tour. <laughs> okay, they made us a gift, Daniela and Gustavo. They bought a Malbec for us. It is a so red we have wine. Red wine and white wine. Thank you. Gracias. Gracias. In this winery they produce 15 million liters of wine every year and about 20 million bottles of wines every year. So we have two <laughs> and it's really cheap. We pay two dollars for one really good quality wine. So can you imagine? Back to Lucky Liu right now. Yeah, we are going to, to lunch together uh, with Daniela and Gustavo. Argentina is really famous uh, for the meat, uh, for the asado. Yes. So today we will taste uh, some nice and good meat. All in the city center we can see all these uh, canales uh, that uh, they are really deep and dangerous in several places. Uh, but uh, here in Mendoza is a kind of a desert uh, so the only way all these trees uh, and uh, all the vegetation uh, can grow here is uh, thanks uh, to these canales that bring water every day to the trees, uh, to the plants. Uh. So Mendoza is really green, it's beautiful to see in the city center. You can uh, walk uh, and on the street uh, there are all these trees uh, making some uh, shades. Uh, really nice, dangerous but uh, useful important this is a park it's called uh, general san martin and uh, those gates uh, we will show you right now they are from uh, france uh, and is the entrance of the park right here we can see the first houses uh, where the immigrants uh, came uh, you can see the water now we will see a lake uh, that they use just to put the water to all the, this green park uh, and all these houses they are really old uh, it's where the Spanish, the Italians, the first immigrant came to live okay we are here right now this is the entrance of the park this is the door, the portal and here is the huge park now we are going to visit this lake that provides this water that we, we can see here in the canals we were in this area my boo is like... Ruta del Vino yes it's in this area and Maipu is really famous for all the wines and the wineries I like that this city has this park, this huge park inside it's like the lung of the city like being in Paris all, all this park is perfect and this lake in the middle of the park uh, beautiful all these trees, palm trees, different type of trees I like it Recently there has been a big manifestation here, a big uh, protest because there is a big uh, huge uh, lobby, mining lobby that wanted to come here and start mining but uh, there was a law protecting the water and uh, in order to mine here they, they do a process where they use and contaminate a lot of water. Here in Mendoza water it's really, really super important because without water you cannot do wine, you cannot have all these green gardens and parks. And Mendoza was a desert, so you can imagine how important is the water and the management of the water here in this city. Without this channel just running through all the city you cannot have these beautiful trees and without trees you cannot have shadow. So here, especially in this period, it's so hot 
that when you are in the shadow you can breathe and you can have really a nice time. The, they were changing the law to make uh, the, the lobby of the mining scam, but all the city came down together to the streets uh, to you know fight uh, against uh, this changing of the laws and they win. The water is safe uh, and Mendoza as well. Remember water is life everywhere. This monument honored Jose de San Martin. He was leading the army, the Andes army in 1817 and he freed first Argentina, Argentina, then Chile and then Peru. This is the monument of the Cerro de la Gloria. monument of the army of the Andes was inaugurated in 1914. As you can see, the statue up there is uh, representing the freedom. We saw a similar statue, someone just breaking the chains in San Basilio de Palenque in Colombia. If you want, you can check the video up here. It was the first American town freed from slavery. And on the five pesos in Argentina, there is San Martin. So it's a symbol of Argentina, it's a symbol for Chile and for Peru. And uh, here on the back uh, is Cerro uh, de la Gloria. Is where it we is are. Enough. From up here you can see all the town uh, down there. Here we are almost uh, 1000 uh, uh, meters in elevation. Mm -hmm. Lunch in Mendoza Center. This restaurant is so typical, beautiful. Proveito, guys. Proveito, gracias. For starting, we will taste this um, pate, chicken pate, liver, oh, liver chicken pate. Typical empanada Argentina with meat, meat inside. Okay guys, for all the vegans uh, or vegetarians, uh, please uh, skip this part. Uh, for all the other ones, uh, enjoy this beautiful meat. Wine and asado is... It's a must. It's a must. I don't know if you can see, but this one is the inside part, uh, the intestino. Tasty. Yeah? Yeah. It has something like seafood. Seafood? Yeah. I don't know. Gracias. Ciao, 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 ciao. Muchísimas gracias. Gracias. We are back to Lucky Liu, our home. Everything seems to be perfect, close. Yes. We spent all the morning and lunch time together with Gustavo and Daniela. Thank you so much, guys. They invited us for lunch. We tried the typical asado argentino. That's delicious. And this morning we tried a typical Malbec wine at one of these bodegas here in Mendoza. And now we so. should try the typical siesta. <laughs> <laughs> After exactly. eating the asado, it's we are 4 p.m. So yes. it's time for a siesta. Thank you so much, guys. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And please consider. Ciao. Ciao. And please consider to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't done already. We love you guys, we appreciate you. We hope that you are enjoying our time here in Argentina. Let us know what you think. And if you have any questions, please yes. comment below. For us, it's time to get on the road again. Yes. So guys, we love you, we appreciate ah, we you. Have the siesta? 
No, no siesta, guys. <laughs> no siesta. We have to drive. Uh, we still have to drive. I think about three yes. or four hours. Uh, we love you guys. We appreciate you. Thank you very much for coming along with us. Uh, see yes. you on the next one. Ciao, Ciao. beautiful people. A quick update about my healthy situation. After the incident with the dog, uh, we received a lot of comments. Uh, uh, thank you very much, beautiful people. We love you. We, I received uh, all the shots uh, before starting this expedition uh, back in Italy. So I'm uh, fine. I cure all Luca wounds. So everything is okay. If you want to see, now you can see that. They're really, really yeah, looks almost pretty, yeah. pretty good. We have the first uh, aid kit and we use the peroxide solution on everything. So, Luca is fine. I'm, I'm fine. fine. <laughs> Sarah uh, monitor my temperature to see if I had fever. Uh, everything's fine. I'm perfect. So thank you very much for all the comments, uh, we love you, we are fine uh, and uh, see you on the next one.